This is an overview of the Montana Courts e-filing system. E-filing is a secure electronic document delivery system that allows the official court record to be electronic rather than paper. When e-filing is implemented, the electronic record itself, stored in the FCE case management system, is the official court record. A paper file is not only unnecessary, but if it existed, it would not represent the official court record. The electronic record in FCE replaces a physical file. Here are some beneficial features of e-filing. Secure filing from anywhere, anytime. Online access to court documents for judges, attorneys, and their staff only. Reduced paper trips to the courthouse and storage requirements improved record quality, protection of record from catastrophic events. E-service capabilities. E-service is legal service completed by the e-filing system upon submission of an e-filing. E-filers may e-serve attorneys who are registered for Montana courts e-filing. All other parties must be served conventionally by other means. The goal for e-filing is availability on every case type in every Montana court and to any person or party filing. We're in a stepwise implementation. E-filing is not available to self-represented litigants. Not all case types are currently e-filing enabled. Courts join e-filing on a voluntary basis. E-filing is not a public access system. Judges can file on and view any case within their district. Judges can also e-file and view their cases in other e-filing districts. Attorneys can file on any case, including closed cases, but can only view cases on which they're attorney of record. Agencies, such as CASA or probation and parole, can also file on any case, but they cannot view cases. When your court changes to e-filing, workflows may change when there is no piece of paper to write on or place in a certain location. An electronic file stamp placed at the upper right corner of the document and electronic judge signatures placed in the lower right corner of signed documents may require some document format changes. As court records become electronic, judges will no longer have physical file folders on the bench. The judge session in FCE is used by judges to access electronic case records on the bench. This may take some getting used to, and we encourage judges to start using this ahead of time before having to rely solely on electronic case records. Statutory filing fees are triggered by the e-filing system when e-filers submit a civil filing that requires payment. Fees are collected by SitePay, a third-party payment processor. Some things will not change. Legal responsibilities and deadlines still apply. Public access remains the same. E-filing does not provide public access. Local rules remain in place. Some courts issue additional orders requiring use of e-filing in their district. If your court plans to mandate e-filing, consider waiting a few weeks after you begin e-filing to mandate it. This allows both clerks and filers grace for the initial learning curve. The clerk of court will still be serving and distributing orders and minute entries. Once an order is approved and added to the electronic record, Attorneys may view the order through the e-filing website, but they will not receive any notification about that order from the e-filing system. It is essential that the clerk's office continue to distribute orders and any other communication from the court as normal. The official court record is still stored in the clerk's case management system. The clerk is still in charge of managing and making any changes or additions to this record. We'll now walk through a brief demonstration of the e-filing system. We will observe 
Using the e-filing website, an attorney submits a motion and proposed order. Then in FCE, a clerk files the motion and sends the proposed order to the judge. Using the e-filing website, the judge signs and submits the order. Back in FCE, a clerk files the judge's order. Here we can see Mary Jones is logged into the e-filing system. She'll click Create Filing. Mary enters the court and case number. She's filing a motion. It's an unopposed motion. Mary represents the defendant. On this screen, the motion and proposed order are uploaded. As this is just a brief overview of the system, we will not discuss the different options you see on this page. That's covered in attorney training materials. A certificate of service will be created from the information on the screen. It will be appended to the attorney's motion. The e-filing system is prompting the filer to e-serve opposing counsel, Lillian Smith. The filer has the technical capability to select not to serve her if desired. Alternatively, the filer can add more service recipients to the certificate of service. The only type of service that is completed by the e-filing system is e-service. All other types of service, including email, are the filer's responsibility to complete. This is the filing summary, a review of the information entered so far. The filer will add the filing to their cart. Submit filings will send this filing to the clerk's office to be processed and send it to e-service recipients. Mary Jones has a notification that this e-filing has been submitted. At this time, the opposing counsel who is e-served will receive an e-service notification with a link to Mary's submitted filing. Let's now move back to the clerk's office. We're logged into full court enterprise and we will check if any e-filings are waiting to be processed. Here's Mary's unopposed motion. The motion is still waiting for clerk review. It has not been filed on the case yet. As the clerk, we'll now review the document just as we would with a paper document. This video will breeze over the details of how to process this e-filing. This is just an overview. We'll get into details later. I'm going to review this motion. We'll review the proposed order. Both of these documents look fine. Here's the ROA for the motion, and here's the ROA for the proposed order. It's not signed by the judge yet, it's just proposed. So this ROA doesn't have a document sequence number and won't be file stamped. This route to judge drop-down menu allows the clerk to send this filing right to the judge's e-filing account. We will send this to the judge. Clicking save, We'll finish processing the filing. Now that we've finished processing the e-filing, it has been added to the official court record and the filer, Mary Jones, has received a notification from the e-filing system that this filing has been accepted. Let's briefly look at the ROA page. Just by us processing the motion, it's been file stamped.
The proposed order is saved here, but it is not file stamped. Switching roles again, here we're looking at the judge's e-filing account. The judge will access filings sent by clerks by logging into e-filing and by clicking Judge Review Queue. Here is the unopposed motion we've been looking at. The judge can click here to look at the filing. The judge will review the motion and proposed order. When ready to respond, the judge will click Respond with Order. From this screen, the judge could access the Word version of the proposed order. In this case, the judge wants to sign the order exactly as submitted by the attorney. They'll click this box, which will sign the document electronically, and click Submit. Returning back to the clerk's office, let's look for the judge's order so we can process it and add it to the case. Here's the order. I'll review the document. This is what the judge's electronic signature stamp looks like. There are no errors in this document, so we'll save it to the case. The order has now been file stamped and saved to the case. We would now distribute the order as usual. Most courts use the FCE email function to accomplish this. In review, we can see that the e-filing site was used as a submission system, and then Full Court Enterprise was ultimately used by a clerk to accept and add the e-filing submissions to the official court record. Thank you for watching the e-filing system overview. Please see additional training materials for more in-depth directions to use the e-filing system.